am a pastor. Now, some people think that pastors are great, others, not so much. Oftentimes, when I'm at parties and I tell people what I do, it can be a real conversation killer. And um, when I'm sitting next to someone on an airplane, some of the time I'd uh, rather tell them that I'm a telemarketer. <laughs> Regardless, I was excited when my denomination, the United Methodist Church, sent me to downtown Phoenix to start a new faith community. Um, downtown is an, emer is an emerging community, and what do emerging communities need most? Churches, of course. It's not that downtown didn't have great cathedrals and community churches. It's that these seem to cater to an older crowd and to folks who had already bought into the notion of um, what religion was uh, 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 already had bought into the notion of what religion was all about. Now, 20% of Americans now claim no religious affiliation, the highest percentage ever. Some of these folks are atheists and agnostics. However, many of them are spiritual but not religious. These are the people I went downtown to reach. These are the people I went to convert to religion. But a funny thing happened after a few months of being downtown. I realized I was the one who was gonna be converted. That I wasn't there to pitch anyone for religion. That the spiritual were gonna convert me. Now, what do I mean by spiritual but not religious? Spiritual folks maintain a belief in God or the divine or the sacred, but it's primarily um, a, a private or personal belief. Spiritual folks practice yoga and meditation and often experience God through nature. Spiritual but not religious folks are also very suspicious of institutional religion because they see it as too focused on money, power, rules, and politics. They also believe that it's hypocritical and exclusive and discriminatory. When we think of religious folks, we think of church buildings, of sermons, of church choirs, and good old-fashioned church potlucks. But I was going downtown to do something out of the box. I was going down to get away from those potlucks. But what's the first thing I found when I got downtown? A potluck. <laughs> now, um, the community gathers often around these potlucks and other meals. And, and to gather around meals with friends and even strangers is very sacred in many religions. But then there's um, the other um, new sacred spaces in downtown, the coffee shops, the art galleries, the music venues, the parks, all places where people go to experience creativity and beauty, the arts, and nature. But what I've been most inspired by downtown are the folks who claim not to be religious, but are doing really impactful things and positive things in the community. There's the gal who runs a clothing swap where she encourages people to bring gently used items of clothing to exchange with one another instead of um, spending a fortune on a wardrobe. They also give to charities and charities in need. This was an early um, practice of the early Christian church where people shared everything in common. Then there's the guy who gave away everything he owned, jumped in, jumped in his car, and randomly traveled the country, helping out wherever there was need. This was a core teaching of Jesus and many other religious founders. And then finally, there's the gal who um, is an avid advocate for the environment because she wants to see our world as a healed and whole place. That's not just a great place to live, but to thrive. This is a vision that many of our world religions hold for our planet. But it's not that I've given up completely on religion because it's the, um, it's the mean and the nasty folks and the loudest folks who get all the attention. In fact, religious folks can be very compassionate, kind, caring, and yes, even funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot of great churches and religious institutions doing things downtown, like serving meals weekly to the homeless, um, and providing them with social services and providing them with clothing, churches that support addiction and recovery groups, churches that advocate for the arts community and for equal rights for the LGBT community as well. There are churches who build houses for people, churches that sponsor homeless shelters for women and children, churches that sponsor day resource centers for homeless senior citizens that not only provide them a safe place to stay, but also seek to get them into permanent housing as much as they can. So my point isn't that spiritual people are better than religious people or that religious people are better than spiritual people, but that we are all human beings, that we are all called to do awesome things and live meaningful lives. So go join a community group, an arts group, an activism group, or even a religious group. Go join any group that's doing anything to make a positive impact in this world. Because after the events of the last few weeks, we need to do those things more than ever. Thank you. Thank you.